Common market for Eastern and Southern Africa member states have reaffirmed their dedication to a comprehensive strategy aimed at fostering regional market integration and promoting industrialization within the leather value chain across the continent. The strategy, which has been shaped and owned by the 21 member states, is expected to be a critical tool for creating jobs and enhancing the economic prosperity of the region, as well as ensuring that the volume of imported leather products into the region is reduced. Jimmy Mbogo has more. Nice. Uh, the... the commercial region's annual import is set to hit the $2 billion mark in footwear alone, with close to 70% of the imports coming from China. This is according to Nicholas Mudungwe, the executive director, African Leather and Leather Product Institute. An import trend that 21 commercial member states are now seeking to reverse through the improvement of the leather value chain across the region by increasing productivity and standardization of the quality of finished products. Uh, this has led to the formulation of a strategy which aligns with the Commerce Four pillar and the interests of the member states, outlining a clear roadmap for industrialization over the next two years. The new plan builds on previous efforts, contributing to long-term goal of regional economic integration. The statistics that we have is that our intra-trade, trade between the African countries themselves, is around 17%. The strategy we have gathered to validate here is not just a plan, but a vision for the future of the leather sector. It identifies the sector's opportunities, situation, and challenges in its transformation process for more value addition, increased interregional trade, and sustainable development. The key binding of strengths that we have identified, which is undermining the growth of the sector, one is access to finance. So the, the first objective of this strategy speaks to how to improve access to finance for all value chain players. The second objective speaks to the issue of technology and skills. What we've noticed is that uh, many enterprises in Africa are lagging behind in terms of technology. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, the leather industry in Kenya contributed to approximately 0.1% of the national GDP. However, the sector's potential remains largely untapped with opportunities for growth in the value chain addition and export markets. The strategy has also been applauded for focusing on the leather industry, which aligns with the national economic goals, which includes increasing manufacturing output to 20% of GDP by 2030 as part of Kenya's Vision 2013. And uh, what is happening currently is we have had what we call a value chain approach, where we look at the, ver the various leather value chain players, what we call nodes, from the farmer all the way to the person doing the market. If you don't get the, the right height from the farmer, because either he tattooed his animals or takes it onto the height and skin, even if you have uh, the best technology in tanning, you still get poor quality. So we are working on how to mop up, because every year there are three million uh, animals that are slaughtered, and yet that height and skin doesn't reach the, the, the value addition uh, level. The commercial region has an optimal capacity of 30 to 40 billion dollars annually that goes untapped or into insufficient production. The implementation of the strategy will follow a phased approach with all 21 member states engaging in the third and fourth phases. Members have been called to ensure the implementation is a success.